Hello, everyone. I uh, wanted to share some findings and testing on the FT991 Alpha ALC settings, uh, or or in the or in the digital gain settings, and how that imp impact the ALC and the quality of uh, your transmission. So um, I prepared the, here um, uh, the um, a simple set uh, environment test environment. At home, I'm using uh, um, SDR Sharp, uh, um, um, SDR receiver connected to my computer. You can see running there on the top uh, uh, right, sorry, on the top left corner on the screen. And um, on the right side of the screen, on the top, you have the radio. And uh, you can see right now the power setting is at 5 watts. The digital gain is at uh, 1. And um, in, the, um, in the bottom right corner is, um, is an uh, external uh, power meter, which I'm using. I'm connecting right now to a dummy load, so I'm not, no, not transmitting anything, air, anything to the air while I'm doing those tests. And let's see, let's see how the, um, the modulation of the digital mode goes uh, out at the different level of, uh, of digital gain and a different level of engagement of uh, the ALC. So right now, the first test I'm, I'm going to do is just to show uh, the power in the radio and the power in the, in the watt meter are, are showing the same values uh, because later I will have to switch the the radio meter to ALC and I will and we will read the power in the um, in the M MFJ external meter. The issue with the, the one of the things you know the 991 alpha uh, that I don't like that it has is um, the meter can show only one uh, reading when you are transmitting and in receiving mode is always showing. Um, the S signal, right? The incoming uh, S uh, signal. But when you're transmitting, you can choose only one um, parameter to show. So I'm gonna sh first show the the power, and then I'm gonna switch to ALC, and we we'll leave it uh, in ALC for the rest of the tests. So let's do a transmission. I'm using FLDC in in ready. So as you can see, the the power in, in both are showing uh, very similar values. So I'm going to switch to ALC now, and, and I'm going um, to uh, uh, do this again at the same level of uh, digital gain. All right, now we have ALC on the radio, and uh, we're going to transmit again. As you can see, ALC is not engaged at the digital gain level one. So now digital gain in radio is two, so let's see if there's any difference. We have more power out, and ALC is not engaging the radio. In the next test, we, we're going to move it to three. Now transmitting with digital gain three. As you can see here, ALC is engaged. It's at uh, it's showing at uh, almost seven. But also you can see uh, when ALC engaged, there it, there it was uh, more artifacts to the side of my transmission, on the right or and uh, left side of my transmission. So let let's do this one more time. You will see that on the SDR sharp. When uh, when um, when a ALC was not engaged, my signal was much clearer. There was not side artifacts uh, from the um, from the middle part of the modulation. So I'm gonna go back to to digital gain two. Digital gain two. I'm gonna go back to that and. I'm going to transmit uh, again. There is no ALC 
and um, the sides is a little bit uh, better than before. It's, it's cleaner. The signal seems, seems to be cleaner with no ALC at all. And the other thing is, I'm going to transmit again, and uh, you you will see that uh, I'm still putting uh, uh, power out, right? So how I can uh, get more power out without adding uh, artifacts into my transmission? So I'm going to leave the, the digital gain as is, and I'm going to start increasing the power of the radio. Okay, now I have uh, set up the radio, uh, the power on the radio to 10 watts. Uh, we will, of course, not get the 10 watts, but uh, you will see now when I transmit the signal, this is still clean and we have more power out, right? So what I'm going to continue doing is I'm going to start increasing the power. I'm going to double now, I'm going to go to 20 watts. Okay, now testing with um, with 20 watts. Let me fix here on the titles. 20 watts. Let's transmit. The signal is still uh, pretty clear. There is a, there is an artifact on the lower side of my signal. I'm not sure uh, what is that, but there is no over uh, modulation. Uh, uh, artifacts. So now I wanna, um, and we can see there is there is uh, also extra power going out, but this is no uh, over modulation. So uh, I'm gonna add um, uh, now more digital gain, and let let's see what uh, what is happening. And now with um, a digital gain of three, uh, you will see how much uh, the a ALC is kicking in. As you can see in, in there, uh, and you can see uh, how much uh, artifacts uh, appear now to the um, uh, lower part and the top part of the um, modulation. This is the kind of things that, that you want to, to avoid. So my recommendation uh, based on, on this test is to, um, to keep uh, the ALC at the lowest possible level uh, even if it's not showing any, um, it's good and, uh, and manage your your power output uh, with the um, RF power setting in your radio, in your FT991 Alpha. Uh, that's everything uh, for for the really part. One thing I would like to test before I go is uh, how this works with FT8. So let, let me switch to FT8 and let's do one more test. Uh, in FT8. All right, now I switch to um, to FT8 and the same parameters. You can see here uh, it's a very clean signal, no um, uh, not too much uh, modulation on the size of the central frequency. Uh, as you can see also the ALC was not kicking uh, yet in. And in the next transmission, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna increase, uh, I'm gonna leave the digital gain to three because I, I can manage the, um, the volume from, uh, from uh, the FTA application. I'm gonna increase, I'm gonna show you when I increase the volume and the ALC start kicking in, how the artifacts appear on the side on uh, the, um, the central modulation, uh, central signal, which is at 1500 uh, uh, hertz. Uh, there is also an, an artifact uh, on the lower side, which I don't know what it is. Uh, it doesn't appear on the, on the microphone. It's just on the on the digital. I saw that also on Ready. But you can see here, uh, when L ALC is kicking in, the, the signal is much dirty. So I'm gonna lower down the transmission gain from uh, WSJTX and uh, to the point that there is no ALC, that should be the optimal point. So now I'm tra transmitting again. Still I have power out, plenty, and I increase a little bit. And you can see there is no ALC 
and it's pretty good. All right. Um, thanks uh, for watching. I hope uh, you like uh, this experiment. This is more like an experiment than anything else. And um, please uh, subscribe to the channel and, and leave comments if you like it, if you don't like it, uh, so we can uh, improve. Uh, again, thanks for watching and until the next time.